YouTube. This is another tip on Visual Basic. Today we'll be talking about the two string command and the proper way to use it and the improper way to use it. Okay, first I'm gonna show you guys the proper way to use it. And for this example, we're making s such something like a um, a very simple web browser. Just get the web browser com component out there. Where is that thing? Oh, right here. So many components don't know where things are. Okay, I don't want it to be docked. Actually, let's just have it docked. Then. No, no, no. That will take too much time. Just undock this. Let's go ahead and make this form bigger. Let's just expand this web browser. Just so it's at least a decent, more decent size. Okay, a web browser needs a few things. First of all, I where is sorry, I kind of out of it today. Haven't really done anything in Visual Basic today, so I'm getting lost. Text box and a button. I know everything's in alphabetical order, but when I see the label, it has an A, so that confuses me. Let's line this thing up. It doesn't need to be, we can just stay in button 1. We know that means go. So, first let's just use this button 1 command. For its code, it's just going to be simple. Most Visual Basic developers have made a web browser in their time of programming with Visual Basic because it's one of those simple things. Uh, um, text box one. That text. Okay, so that's pretty simple. That does that. Look, we'll even test this out. So let's do YouTube.com and it should take us to YouTube. And there you go. There's YouTube. Okay, this is not what I want to show you guys though. So. Now, I'll show you guys the proper way of using. <coughs> oh, sorry. The proper way of using the two string command with a web browser, because that's what the example is today. Where, where's the label when you need it? Okay, here it is. Let's put this label right here. This label is going to be the website name. Just name it URL. And doing this since it will probably be easier. And so under here, you want to put have this change label one to text. Two web browser lines. Oh, hey, no, this is not where I should put it. Actually, don't go to the button command. Go to the web browser one. That'll take you to the document completed. The, so when the web browser is finished loading, that's when it'll change the text. Okay, look. You just got an error from doing that. Value of type system dot URI cannot be converted to string. So this is where this comes in handy. This two string command. 
whenever you get that error just throw that in there and then now I'll show you guys that it really does make a difference especially if you're making an advanced web browser the sun oh sorry for the caps it just happened now you're going to see the tech the label of URL instantly change into the full URL see HTTP the forward slashes www.youtube.com there that now let's I'm gonna show you guys the improper way um okay I wanted to delete this just have these two things right there okay change the label to number okay now we're going to change label one's text again but this way around this way Okay, now we're gonna make some variables right here. Ah, sorry. So let's make these variables before we set this. Dim number as integer. An integer is a, a well, a variable for the number. If we put string that's the text variable that's why we have to use the to string command to change it into a, a string which is a text variable which display the text of the URL from the web browser and now we're doing integer that's a number now number is five just because I want it to be so now we go number so oh okay it's integer, that's a number. Now we need to do two string. Right? Okay. Okay, there's the number, and now it's five. I'm gonna show you guys something cool right now. Take out that two string part, and I'll try it. Digital Basic is good like this. It lets you use integers and boolean functions. Okay, a boolean is normally true or false. So it equals true. Then you don't have to. You still don't have to put two string. It'll say true. What else can you even try? I don't know what else to try. Um. Um, a decimal. Try one point three. And there you go. Okay, that's the proper way. I showed you a proper way to use two string in a web browser. Then I showed you an improper way of using the two string. And you could totally just fix that. You don't need the extra two string. That's pointless. This way, if you have a lot of these, just take out the two string, take out the me dot, which you see in the last tip, and you'll really see a difference in your program. Well, probably not, but it all adds up. So if you want your program to run faster, just clean it up. Here's the, the next tip will be another way to clean up your code. So, see you then. And remember, subscribe.